So let's make a door legend. So we'll, we will make that with our dynamic legend tool. Um, in the first step, we have prepared two sample blocks. So one is vertical and one is horizontal. Right now, we will use the horizontal block for making our door legend. So right now, I have to pick the whole elements and we are going to create a legend. Well, uh, usually there will be two columns like family and count, uh, but anytime we can change that. First, uh, let's check the category. So right now we will work with the door, so it will be the door category, but here also you will get the list of all categories that are used in the project. Now let's select more parameters. And in the left side of the tree, you will get the list of all parameters that um, are created for the door category. And in the right side, there will be your selected parameters. So let's add more additional parameters like door material and height, um, width and, and thickness. And um, yeah, so like type. Also here we can change the order of those columns. That's it. Actually those width and height parameters, they are very important because later our frame will be also automatically changed according to those parameters. And we have them right now as our columns. There are some various parameters because right now uh, the count goes according to the families. So there are 26 balcony doors and 130 simple and 30 single doors. So we can go into configuration and also we can pick family and type parameters for grouping. And right now the tool will group those uh, doors according to the family and type values. In the left side of the tree, you will be able to make a filter according to the family and type values, if it's needed. So you will be able to make a legend just for your filtered elements. And that's it. Let's make a legend. Let's go into pick columns and let's select the line that indicates array uh, distance and array direction. And right now let's pick elements that will be array down. As you see, te the text are replaced with parameter uh, names. And with pick rows, we are going to make a legend so you can pick any horizontal line. And we now we have to select elements that will be added to the right side. That's it. Uh, the tool created a door legend with all parameters we wanted and dimensions are changed automatically according to the width and height values from the element. And right now we can rename that um, uh, legend as a door legend and the tool automatically made a copy of our sample block because we can use that sample block for the, our future legends.